I'm gonna have to live vicariously through you, I think, because <laughs> uh, uh, this is not in my future, but boy, I wish it could be. Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Today we're gonna meet Gary, who has got the most incredible setup I've ever seen. If I could have anything in the world, this might be it right here. So, uh, Gary, welcome to the program. Yes. And uh, are you are full-timing now? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Been out since December 11th, about three months. So you're just uh, taking trips? Yep. And you still have a home base you're going to? Yes, I do. And uh, where are you from? Marengo, Iowa, that's what I call home base. Good. And uh, so you must be retired then. Yes, I just retired in the fall. Good. And uh, what, what made you think, I'm going to go, well, uh, first let's ask about that. <laughs> what was that sound we just heard? That was my co-pilot. That was Jake. He's my African Grey. He's he's along for the winter, at least, for the ride. Good. And he's does he enjoy traveling? Yes, he does. He seems to. He's not too big on the four-wheel driving. The off-roading gets a little rough for him, but he's getting there. Okay. He's learning to hang on a little more. And so how did you end up retiring and then saying, I'm going to go live in a Jeep in, a, in an off-road trailer? Well, you had a lot to do with that, Bob. <laughs> I watched a lot of your videos, and then I got into overlanding videos, and I kind of, I guess I'm kind of a hybrid. I'm overlanding and spending months on the road at the same time. This is about the perfect overlanding setup right here. Yes, it is. Uh, I've always wanted to do it my whole life, you know. There's always a reason to, I always had a reason to stay home, afraid of breaking down, money issues. Now I don't have that. If I don't do it now, it's never going to happen. So here I am. What a, what a great outlook. That's yeah. really the way you got to look at yeah. this. And every day out here is an adventure or something new. When I left home, I thought it was going to be a lot of sitting around camp, sleeping all day. But I'm more active now than I was at home because there's always something to do, always some place to explore, events to do, next town to see, planning my next trip. I'm just, it's working out great. So uh, the big thing, and one of the things I tell people is you have to find the balance between comfort and freedom. And so the Jeep is the ultimate freedom. Yes. You can go anywhere. I do, and I do. And But by itself, it's not very comfortable. No. And you've added a trailer, uh, an off-road trailer, and that still can pretty much let you go anywhere you want to yep. go. Yep. I've been to some pretty, pretty back, pretty rough places so far. Well, how's that balance of comfort working? Is that okay? Yes. You know, I would give up a lot of comfort to do what I'm doing. That's comfort is something I've had in my past life. Now I'm looking for more adventure, including a little more on the wild side. Right. Well, this is it. This yes. is on the wild side. <laughs> Fantastically on the wild side. Well, I th I'm just really impressed. I just think uh, Thank you. it's impressive. Uh, why don't we take a look around and then you show us what you've got going and why you've made these choices. Okay, we can do that. And we'll go meet your friend. Yes, we should do that. <laughs> and your co-pilot. <laughs> First, we'll meet the co-pilot. Let's go. So what's your friend's name? This is Jake. Jake is my African gray. And uh, how long have you had him? I uh, had Jake 12 years. He's going to be 13 May 8th. And I've had him all but three, month, three, three months of those 13 years. And they live a long time. They're yes, a they very long-lived There's story. a lot of numbers out there for them, but 50 to 60 is probably a good ballpark. Wow. So he's a kid. Yeah, he's just going to be a teenager this year. And, and they're affectionate, apparently. Yes, they they, learned to, they yeah, bond with you. Birds in general are very social animals. They fly around in flocks, and he's. I was fortunate enough to let him. He accepted me into his flock, and we were good buddies. Good. And so uh, you live in a pretty small space. Does that work good for both of you? Yeah, it, it's a learning experience how it goes, you know. But we're getting there. He he's he's adapted extremely well, better than I thought he would. Other than some of the four-wheel driving, he gets a little rough. He gets, but he's learning to hang on a little more instead of flying around the cab. So he can't fly. No, I keep his wings are trimmed up. He can't go very far, a few yards. Ah, uh, so in the in the rig, he can he can fly a bit and yeah, move around. He'll he'll flap his wings and bounce around a little bit. <laughs>
Good. He's a beauty. And uh, he's learning to talk, or? Uh, he can talk. He maybe knows maybe a dozen words right now. Well, good. And so compared to a dog or a cat, you're really happy you have a bird. Yes, I am. It's good. working out well. Right. Uh, and we'll see how you cage him and yep. he goes potty and all that stuff because yep. all that's an issue. Okay, well, let's uh, take a look around and see your rig. Okay. Uh, well, I put 35-inch tires on it, got a two-and-a-half-inch lift kit. I got the rock sliders here with the side steps. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. Because I'm kind of a short guy, and it yeah. makes getting in and out a lot easier. Oh, that's nice. I love that. It is. <laughs> uh, my recovery gear on top. I got a shovel, a high-lift jack. There's some traction boards on the other side. My toolbox has my recovery gear, some straps, some shackles, some gloves, other stuff like that up there. Now, uh, for those who don't know, what exactly is uh, recovery gear? What does that mean? For my winch, if I get stuck, I gotta, I can pull myself out. Right. Stuff I hope I don't ever need, but it's my insurance policy to get me home. It's get me back every day. It's extraction for for getting stuck. Yep. yep. And. Uh, and with your setup, you're probably never going to get stuck, hopefully. Yeah, we're hoping not. <laughs> but you might very well come across yeah. somebody who is. That's right. So, very, very good. Nice I spent setup. spent a lot of money and a lot of time thinking about this because I wanted to be as self-sufficient, independent as I possibly could. I didn't want to be the guy having to call a wrecker 20 miles off the road and pay $500 to get pulled out of a little mud hole. Absolutely. That wasn't going to be me. So you, we mentioned earlier overlanding. Can you and uh, it's something I love and I would love dearly love to do. Uh, can you give us a, uh, an easy description of what that means? Overlanding. Uh, to me, it just basically means car camping on the on the back in the boonies. Right. You, know, you don't have to have a fancy rig like this. I consider a lot of these people out here overlanders. Yes, I would too. Uh, Typically, we think of people who are driving around the world off-road, yeah. things yeah. like that, and with the hundreds of thousands of dollars of rigs. So. When I started planning this, I expected to be in a van. That's where I originally thought I was going to go. Then my financial situation changed. I inherited some money from my parents' farm, and that's basically financed what you see here right now. Right, and you're set for life now. I, I mean, got my Social Security, right. my pension, 401k. I'm, I'm not. I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at. Good, really, really good. Back in Iowa, there are gas stations every 10 or 15 miles. I knew out here things wouldn't be that way, and the Jeep isn't known for great gas mileage. When you put a trailer on it, behind it, I'm averaging 10 miles to gallon. I had an auxiliary fuel tank put under it, so at the push of a button, I have an extra seven, 17 gallons of fuel. Very good. In the back country, where there certainly yep. aren't any stations, that's very important. Yep. Got a nice big winch. AC lights, my 12,000 pound winch. And you can light up the world with yes, oh, those, my goodness. So did you get a bigger alternator? Uh, no, it come with the tow package, it come with a bigger alternator. Mm -hmm. Thinking about maybe putting an auxiliary battery in. It's another thing to be, so you don't have to worry about draining your battery or nothing. Right, that winch really really pulls on the battery. Battery compartment electrical is in here. Nice, wow. Two AGM batteries, a 2000 watt inverter, main breaker switch, trailer brakes, the inverter for the solar panels and stuff. So you do have solar? Yeah, I got 140 watts of solar. Mm -hmm. And I have a Honda generator on the other side. Mm -hmm. Very good. Nice setup. And uh, you have what um, a lot of people are probably not familiar with. You have a, uh, a hitch that's designed for off-road. Yep, that's an articulating hitch. It will, I could literally, trailer could roll over and it wouldn't affect my Jeep at all. Right. And a lot of people aren't aren't aware of these, but for a true off-road trailer, this is a requirement. Yep. yep. It moves uh, in 360 degrees yep. in a circle in both directions. Of what the Jeep is doing. Right. Completely. I also picked up a couple days ago an electric bike. Mm-hmm. 
So this is kind of just your garage where you stow yep, everything. Yep. Every time I get it cleaned out a little bit, I'm finding more toys to <laughs> yeah. buy and clean it back up. But... Turn the lights on. There's home. Nice home. Yeah. So you can stretch out full length. Yep. yep. And uh, big storage inside. Yep. I got a AC unit, air conditioner, mm -hmm. with the heat strip mm -hmm. so I can heat it. I've been yeah. using the generator in the morning and evening for about an hour each to heat it up, but it's starting to get, weather's getting better. I don't need to do that now. So you probably have a Honda 2000, something like that? Yeah, 2200. 2200. And we'll, that'll run the, the uh, air conditioner? Yeah, well, we're going to find out. I yeah, that. yeah. I'm hoping. Now, the 2200, they made them that size just so they could, so yeah. hopefully it will. And it's probably a small AC, yeah. or it should be. I got a TV back there and a dvd player under my sleeping bag in the corner mm -hmm. but i haven't since i've been out i've only watched a, well, half of one movie so far I'm too busy i'm just too busy it's just something i'm gonna leave home next time so you do have a home base yep yep and yeah uh, but you're debating selling it yes i am my cage oh there we go yeah that's for jake when i'm when he's when i'm off exploring in the jeep he can stay here I have to thank my sister for that. That's a nice cage. She bought it for me, for Jake. So it's plenty of room for the two of you. Yep, yep. Here's my my toilet. Just like we all have. And Jake's stuff. And uh, the big same tire, I would yep. assume. The yeah, they're 33. Same lug pattern. Yep. My hot water shower. On demand. On Propane. demand, you bet. I'm loving that. That is I nice. I don't use it every day like I thought I would. I'm just wiping myself down yeah. just if i go to town i get a little more cleaned up 26 26 gallons of water oh. on board water right let's uh let's give uh, a shout out to who made your trailer yes this because this is a beauty blue ridge expeditionary trailers out of winston-salem north carolina brxt trailers dot com yep so if you're looking for a true off-road trailer yeah there's these are a, have three models this is obviously the top of the line right all the bells and whistles yeah the, the rack on top alone is amazing yep i got a arb awning uh-huh i got and that black bag is the i have a room for the awning uh-huh i so, haven't used it yet but i'm i hear a lot of people claim about the bugs and insects out here it so can be i'm ready for that mm -hmm. nice 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 everything my my mouth is just watering i'm drooling all over myself <laughs> here this is my kitchen it's a great kitchen here's my my stove my silverware amazing sink yeah 26 gallon tank yep. and it must have a gray water tank nope just nope, a bucket underneath just, there mm -hmm. that's yeah that's fine all my storage wow and of course there's more in here mm -hmm. every one of these has something in it so i'm not lacking for places to put things no you are not great big uh that's my dometic fridge mm -hmm. couldn't live without that no you, you know, just that's, can't that's, that's how I feel too. I haven't, I'm a big milk drinker. I drink a lot of milk. I always carry two or three gallons of milk and I still have plenty of room. I haven't ever run out of room yet for all my supplies and food. Beautiful. Yeah, that is a great kitchen. Yep. Here's something for the off-roaders. Van people may not know about. My trash -a Mm-hmm. My, my garbage in there. Nice, yeah. I've seen those. Uh, yeah, it's handy. I like that. Well, you got another uh, propane tank over here. That's yep, very was, good. I had put dual propane tanks on. I didn't know how much propane the, the shower would take and stuff, the hot water thing. So I had an extra propane tank put on so I didn't have to chase propane around. Very good. Two doors, so you get some nice Two ventilation. Doors, Windows.
This is to help with the bird issues. Right, right. Kind of unique issues there. Yeah. Although if you got a dog, you know, every time a dog yeah, jumps in, you're pulling in sand yeah. and mud and dirt and, and whatever he's walked in. Dog here, so. Yeah. So I know all about cleanliness within a pet. My curtains aren't fancy. They're just dish towels from Walmart mm -hmm. and a couple of these. Commander hooks? Yep. Yeah. Just glue Three them. Up. So I don't have to drill no holes. Or... Yeah. They work for me. Works great. And that is a strong, well-built trailer. Everything is heavy-duty welded and, man. I got a rack up there I can put more stuff on. Gas cans, my toolbox, my welding jacks, a little bit of everything in there. The stuff, the stuff, of, yep. uh, particularly stuff. overlanding, requires more, yeah, more stuff than most. Nice, really sweet. My ladder. I don't know if you got my ladder in for the get up on the on the rack. Right, because you got to have a ladder to get up to these uh, storage. I got lights all the way around. I got two on each side, and two in the back. They're on separate switches, so I can run the fuse to back ones for backup lights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lights around is really good. It's the Jeep is picking up a little road rash, trail rash, I guess they call it. Mm -hmm. You can't really see it. Some scrapes from the sure from the brush and stuff I've been into. That's inevitable. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that. If, if I want to get there, that's where it's going to the price of admission sometimes it is a little tough yeah if it bothers me when i get back i think i can have it all buffed out in the body shop boy it's a beauty and every every detail is perfect yep. Yep. once in my life i spent the money to do it right instead right. of you know halfway what you could afford at that moment yep. and I, i'm not i'm not regretting it, any decision i made on it so far no i can see that i'm gonna have to live vicariously through you i think because <laughs> uh uh, this is not in my future, but boy, I wish it could be. Well, Gary, thank you so much for uh, sharing your home with us and your life. It's just, it's just wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Folks, I know you've got uh, some joy out of seeing this and some lust after it. And if you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.